Today we are going to be building this very awesome hidden staircase. Look at that, it goes away in an instant. Hey, what's up my fellow twisters? Welcome back today. We are in MCPE once again doing another redstone tutorial. This time it's going to be on a simple hidden staircase. So here's our hidden staircase. I did decorate the area a bit just to make the video look better, but you don't have to actually decorate anything. You can keep it 100% hidden. But if you click on this button on this side, it will go ahead and activate that staircase. And that staircase will pop out of the wall. It's actual stairs and then you can walk Walk up to our balcony click on that button to retract it and that is pretty much what we're going to be building now what's cool about this is that you don't actually need a button or the t flip flop inputs you could do it however you want using secret uh, activation inputs but either way we're going to do it like that and hopefully you guys do enjoy it all right so to build this the first thing you want to do is select a block for your wall the block that you select for your wall has to have a corresponding staircase so say for instance you choose any one of the planks or cobbles stone or bricks that does have a uh, staircase blocks so that will be something good to use all right so what we're going to use uh, for this is going to be maybe sandstone that way we could change it up a bit so let's go ahead and use our sandstone block and our sandstone stairs what we need to do is place down a layer of blocks just like this and then build up one block over here and what you want to do is choose the area where you want your staircase to start and when you want that to start you basically place down a block like this facing towards the back side of the wall that way it looks like this from the other side and then you want to place down a block facing towards this direction and as you guys can see it is curved now what's cool about this is that when you push that block out it will look something like that essentially creating a staircase all right so once you have that you want to place down another block facing towards this direction right on top and then fill out these blocks on this side and then you want to fill out a block over here and place a staircase facing sideways and essentially it's going to overlap that way the staircases are right next to each other so let's go ahead and build up another layer or two more layers in order to make this work so let's go ahead and try this one more time we need to place down a block facing towards this direction a block facing there place down a block right over here and then a block facing towards this direction and then a block facing here and then we need to grab ourselves some blocks of our choice and fill out these areas as you guys can see we now have all of our staircase blocks now placed down and if we come over to the other side, they're completely hidden besides the lighting glitch, which is part of MCPE. And I can't really change how that works. All right. So now what we need to do is grab ourselves some of our sticky pistons, grab ourselves some of our blocks that we would like to use. We need to build out one, two blocks out like that. One, two blocks out from the actual uh you know actual staircase that we're going to use so the second staircase and then continue doing it like this. And then we need to destroy the blocks in the middle. And once we have that, we need to grab ourselves some sticky pistons and then place our sticky pistons facing towards uh, this direction, just like that. And then place over here and then over here and then finally over there. As you guys can see, it will basically be attached to the block facing sideways. All right, so once we have that, we need to grab ourselves a button and this button is going to activate our T flip flop. We place down our button right over here. And then we place down our dropper facing up on this side, just like that. And we place down a block facing towards this direction. We place down another block facing towards that direction like that. So it's going to go from up then to the right and then to the left. Then we finally need a hopper. And this hopper is going to go into this dropper over there. You simply shift and click on that or crouch. And then you place down a redstone comparator over here and then a redstone repeater going into that block. Then you place down a bit of redstone dust there and then you place down or actually a button is placed in the right position. All right, so now what you need to do is place down redstone dust all along these blocks, just like that. And then you can destroy that bit of redstone dust so you don't really need it. And you place down a single item into that hopper. It could be redstone dust or any item that you guys choose. And then we need to hit that button and it should go ahead and make our staircase go in and out. And that is pretty much it. As you guys can see, it's very simple to create. And if you want to add in another input into this block, you simply add a block over here add a redstone repeater and then place an input there and it should go ahead and cycle those staircases and that's how I did it on the other side. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this. I basically did that and I extended the signal all the way from the top and when I hit this button on this side it would basically take a signal all the way down towards this block then activating this bit of redstone dust. Now one thing I do want to mention is that you don't want to place your button right behind the block that has our dropper because that's not going to work because of bugs in Minecraft. 
anyways guys that's basically going to wrap up today's redstone tutorial i hope you guys did enjoy it if you did please take one second to smack the like button leave a comment down below and suggest another build you would like to see me do in the future and don't forget to subscribe to see when i post those videos anyways guys if you watched all the way to the end be sure to type in hashtag team twist into the comment section so i know how awesome you are and also this was twist and i'll see you guys next time Thank you